session yes ma'am okay yes ma'am ma'am yes yes ma'am okay ma'am yes good afternoon everyone good afternoon with joy i hold her with immense joy i hold heartily welcome our guest speaker Thank you. social activist and brand ambassador of swachhata abhiyan indor madam dr janak palta today we are glad to have a interactive session with respected Voice. madam who is going to discuss about the hazards of polythene and the benefits of keeping reusable kit to to reduce environmental population yes to reduce environmental pollution sorry uh blessing ma'am uh, are you he here hello blessing ma'am yeah, i'm sorry uh, some network okay, issue is there nazmin uh, hope okay, i'm audible ma yes ma'am uh, you are audible am i audible yes ma'am yes ma'am nanda i am Am I audible? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So I'm really uh, privileged to have Madam with us, respected uh, Dr. Janak Palta, Madam, faculty members of Saint Francis team, and my dear students. Today we are gathered here for an interactive session on Swachhata ka Panch with respected Janak Madam. We are delighted to have Madam with us, an eminent personality. not only in indore but also a well known national figure madam is the brand ambassador of swachhata abhiyan indore and we are privileged that our college is also the part of this initiative i am honored to welcome madam for this session and i am also fortunate to introduce madam to this gathering so dr janak palcha magligan is an indian padma shri recipient social worker and the founder director of jimmy magligan center for sustainable development an indore based non governmental organization working for sustainable community development she is also a former founder director of burley development institute for rural women she secured a masters degree in english literature political science sangeet visharat in sitar an mphil in political science with distinction and a phd mm -hmm. madam has many prestigious awards <laughs> in her credit the government of india in 2015 awarded her the padma shri the fourth highest indian civil civilian award she was also awarded by SCI Order of Excellence in 2016 bestowed green hero by the Energy and Resources Institute India in 2017 Rajmata Vijay Rajay Cynthia Social Service Award by Government of Madhya Pradesh in 2008 Manav Seva Award prestigious award of Sadbhavna Samman and Paryavaran Mitra Puraskar and many more there is a lot more to speak about madam but i am sure you all have understood with an eminent personality we have amidst us <laughs> without delaying further proceedings i would request madam to begin the session uh, thank you so much dr blessy uh, anthony uh, ma hindi mein bol sakte ho sab log hindi jante hain Can I speak in Hindi with English mix, or you want me to speak in English only? Yes, my dear. Would that be okay to speak in Hindi? It's fine, ma'am. Some fine. of the students are South Indians. Yeah, so but I between, but I can uh, mix. I will be... mix. I will mix most of the English terminology in it. Yeah, sure, sure, madam. Because अपने Hindi speaking area में काम कर रहे हैं ना. चलेगा मैम, दौड़ेगा. I can I can speak in English no problem. But I thought maybe there are some 
people who are not comfortable with the hindi koshish karti hu i will try to make it as best as possible in hindi and english uh, so uh, it gives me great pleasure to come to st francis uh, college of nursing and uh, it's very special opportunity for me to be talking to people about cleanliness who are the best uh, best people to serve the people uh, to recover from illness and healing and everything and uh, you will be very um, maybe surprised to know that the when i got my first open heart india's first open heart surgery uh, successful in 1964 i was the first successful case and i was hospitalized for one year and i was uh, so inspired by all the nurses because uh, the nurses were all the time looking after doctors used to come on a round and they will come and have a look and give the prescription of course that's very important but i became like a child of the nurses and they should they used to take me to the nursing college hostel sometime and uh, they were so loving and this inspired me so much and uh, i am also uh, uh, want to tell you that you have talked about all my academic degrees uh, i have only actually gone to study up to high school uh, in a government school in chandigarh after that till now i have never gone to study anything i have been uh, working serving doing my social service and my personal uh, jobs and career and uh, also helping my younger brother sisters uh, and i never i used to just appear privately because the girls were always allowed to appear privately in the exam and uh, uh, i used to go through every year i appeared i passed the exam and i could uh, keep going for all my degrees are uh, self learned studies and uh, uh, then i found that uh, when i wanted to apply for nursing i found that i was no i had not chosen subjects which were important for joining as a nurse to take the training as a nurse science was one thing so i had studied hygiene physiology and i did not study mathematics it was arithmetic and household accounts and i was told that no i can't do nursing so uh, i thought i must uh, let you know the importance of nursing in my own life first time when i went through this open heart surgery and i came out and that was the moment when i said to god you have given me new life and i will spend it thanking you i said to god and then it took me many years to find out how actually where is god how do i meet god and how do i get a path to go through and how do i choose what i should do and it took me about uh, 16 more years to go to um, all region places all religious places uh, all over the country and finally i i found bahai faith uh, maybe some of you have seen the lotus temple in delhi uh, mostly people know bahai faith from the lotus temple so i accepted bahai faith and that means i accept all religions in bahai temp bahai temple in delhi every day there are three services of reading from all holy books you will be happy to know that uh, uh, in in bahai uh, prayer services it starts from uh, bhagavad gita it goes for quran and bible and then uh, uh, buddhist uh, writings and then zoroasters and also uh, bahai writings so prayers and there is no priest in bahai community so we have to 
uh, there is it's a different story but i want to tell you that my life is very inspired by people who have been serving and to me nurses are the uh, most uh, i should say serving class uh, who leave their homes and uh, give their duties on different timing different schedules different areas i also feel that now at this time in indore uh, this is my fifth time to be a brand ambassador of uh, cleanliness of indore starting from two 2017 when prime minister mr modi wrote to me a personal letter that uh, he acknowledged all my work what i have been doing because of the award the government had given and then he wrote one particular paragraph that i must take out extra time to work with people on swachhata bhiya swachh bharat so i started uh, uh, at my own place i have been doing always and i have uh, i am very happy to tell you that i have been practicing uh, i am very happy to know that uh, dr blessy has uh, seen me working at the burley institute at burley institute 26 years where i worked and started it has been a zero waste campus 26 years zero waste campus and after that my retirement my husband and i both decided to come where i'm sitting is my house uh, right in a village very close to usanavdia and uh, here also uh, i don't generate any waste except sometime i have to take some medicine and there is a medicine wrapped in some uh, you know wrapper so i collect them and take them to the city uh, i keep some trash bin in my house for some guest come and people should not feel uncomfortable but i don't mm. just waste waste because there is a there is a everything here is uh, thought before uh, before using what will be the next use of the thing that we are leaving for example uh, vegetables we 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 grow vegetables i eat practically we 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 <coughs> grow all our food i only buy salt sugar tea leaves and uh, all also organic but never buy anything in a in a plastic bag so uh, i also use my neem datun on my body also i don't use any chemicals and detergents or anything i only use like aloe vera as my bath gel and my body gel and hibiscus is my hair conditioner so i do this is my whatever i look like is because of all the herbs and things i use and even even the sanitizer i make my own so uh, one thing is my living style second thing was that i i started this thing of uh, carrying a cloth bag always this is a small cloth bag you can see it's very small cloth bag and in this bag i carry this steel bottle uh full of water for me it goes in this bag oh, yeah. i also carry a small steel glass with me and this also goes into this bag and i never use paper napkins i just carry my handkerchief and now due to covid we have one extra additional thing to carry all the time is a mask so i have to carry my mask that also goes in this little bag so when this new municipal commissioner uh, madam pratibha pal ias officer uh, i'm sure all of you must have known by now she came to indore during covid uh, period she was posted she was not from indore she was not familiar with the city so she started talking to people finding out uh, what are the practices and somebody told her that uh, th there is janak didi she is carrying this thala and uh, so she invited me 
to to launch this thala so they made it a principle and they they said okay let everybody learn to use a reusable bag not even necessarily this because many people go to work with their uh, you know those modern backpacks and they can keep all these things in that or whenever we go home we can carry our own things so why why i did that because number one uh, i feel that i feel saving a lot of waste i don't use any bisleri bottles whenever i go out i don't attend any social functions if i am invited as a chief guest or a speaker or in a meeting or a gathering no matter where in the world even united nations in new york or any country i i carry my own things and i refuse to use any of any of uh, disposable tea in a paper cup or coffee or cold drink or hot drink or whatever juice or so i use this little glass and i say maybe 20 to 25 of disposables every day when i go out secondly uh because uh, i don't buy things in plastic packing and i carry my cloth bag third thing is i carry my flask water bottle still i can just come home and wash it with the hot water and then again fill it and anywhere i go normally there is a refilling station you can refill your water so it it became a practice with me it's it many years i don't remember maybe 30 years or 35 years now so many uh, many students and children who have come to my place and all the girls who train they are all trying to practice this before 12th march 20 before covid was lockdown period started before that i trained 86000 youths students and teachers farmers women of all areas to come and learn half day workshop about sustainable development saving environment second thing which i am known is for solar energy so i am giving street light uh, to 50 tribal families with solar and wind power so pollution saving pollution third is i i i have 13 type of solar cookers and solar kitchen so i don't create any smoke which will create pollution uh, and uh, this is a different story but my gas cylinder when modi ji asked for people to give up their subsidy i gave up my uh, subsidy uh, because my lpg gas cylinder changes in 2 years and 5 2 years and 5 months so i don't need it so i save lot of money i save lot of uh, uh, infections and i save pollution now uh, most of the nurses and hospital people are already trained and they know quite a lot about uh, cleanliness and hygiene and how they have to maintain it because you have a you have a responsibility you have protocol uh first thing is that uh, you are all healthcare people and uh, covid infection virus bird flu swine dengue and we had played all these things the this time is the entire world earlier different places used to get these viruses is only because of our human behavior towards the environment and nature we are we have become very very uh, fashionable glamorous or uh, use and throw kind of people so we we didn't realize what we are doing but now this year i'm sure all of you no more than anybody else 
that because of covid the amount of plastic uh, is much more because ppt kits they have to be disposable there are gloves there are oils there are anything to do with the vaccination treatment and mask disposable mask so then also during the period lot of food things had to be home delivery and people were delivered groceries and everything was packed in wrappers or plastic so this year is the most challenging year and when this new commissioner lady madam pratibha pal came here she she has been pregnant and throughout her prenatal delivery period that midnight till midnight she was working next morning she delivered a baby boy thank god they are all fine but she has a maternity leave after 11 days she joined the duty because she thinks that uh, four years indore has been uh, ranked cleanest city of india in the entire world knows it and she doesn't want to uh, to uh, to lose this opportunity uh, and at her own cost and the cost of her own baby uh, i i was very moved with that and few days uh, i have been always doing this talking to people on zoom and functions and people invite me in weddings and everywhere i say uh, i will only come if you don't uh, use disposables and people did out of love and affection on 26th january i met uh, mrs pal at the nehru stadium uh, and i saw her and i i told her how your baby and how you then i came to know she starts working at 7 o'clock she goes to all the sites she's she's becoming familiar about the city she want to see everything with her own eyes and and she has a small baby and she comes at work and it was so cold so she is very polite and nice she says though i'm fine i said okay uh you have made me bra uh, brand ambassador and everywhere i i don't enjoy to see hoardings in my name uh, uh, the this banner you know because they are also mostly made of plastic flex banners but uh, due to covid they did not get any option so they said they will not be movable they will be fixed at different places and we will arrange to Uh, give it to the people like slums people need some plastic thing on the roof and things anyway she took care of that that day i came home and i said to god i have to thank god for such a nice woman uh, head of the city uh, commissioner and i must do something that day i started phoning people i i first checked when is your survey team coming they said any day after 15th february so my birthday is on 16th february and uh, i i i decided to uh, to generate this awareness campaign every day somewhere so whenever i phoned somebody everybody was very happy and uh, this is fourth day and uh, huge response is coming rather people are approaching me can we also please give us time we are but i have a limited capacity to talk and uh, i can't i can't talk 3 4 hours on zoom continuously so i am very happy that you people have taken up this responsibility to join this campaign and and take this movement forward i know you know your protocol a uh, few things which i would like to draw your attention is first is that indore has been uh, four times cleanest city this is fifth time and the survey is going to start from 2021 uh, after 15th february any time teams will come and survey all the areas there are 
there are segregation systems. Uh, best segregation system is at source. For example, uh, at your hospital is your source, your hostel, your mess is your source, and hospital uh, normally source is wet waste and dry waste or plastic. You can segregate. It's possible to recycle, reuse, and reduce, also to refuse. But still, there is some essential uh, plastics which are disposable. If they are also taken care properly, segregated, then they can all be recycled somewhere at the recycling plant uh, and avoid uh, pollution because uh, it is it is an issue relating to infection prevention and control both it will prevent infections and it will control spreading infection of virus covid you all know has been very very challenging for you also uh, second thing is about this is first thing is about your personal hygiene relating to what you use and the things you use for sanitization, <clears throat> chemical detergent and sanitizer should not be mixed up. Uh, there, there are hazards and it can be problem to do with the hygiene. Uh, second is the hygiene relating to walls floors, uh, waste bins, uh, open areas, uh, your ICU, your OT, and then you have a lot of biomedical medical waste, and some of it can be hazardous, which is full of infections. And uh, many people say when uh, COVID period uh, that you can get more infection from hospital more quickly. Uh, if you don't, if you are not tested negative or unless you are serious, better stay home and uh, uh, quarantine yourself. So uh, hospital waste and uh, I'm sure you can also improve the quality of compliance of all the WHO rules and your national health policy of Government of India. So keeping the hospital clean can help the, I personally feel the hospital staff are the most vulnerable to get infections. That is why during COVID period and after COVID period, the Prime Minister of India said, first vaccination will be done to the frontline health workers. You are all, frontline health workers. So it will save you, your health prevent, if you are taking care of waste, managing properly and improve the, uh, and the health of the patient. Number one, your own health. Number two, health of patient. Number three, all their relatives and people and visitors who come and all the people who come in OPDs. And then all the people who carry your waste. Everybody can be saved if all the nurses uh, and the staff who are on duty relating to this subject. Uh, it's very important uh, to uh, also uh, take care of liquids like water, wet areas, and uh, your washing areas, laundry areas, uh, you have a lot of uh, uh, your own wet and dry uh, waste. So it's, it's, it's very important if you all can take care of that. And uh, because there are, uh, is Jolant here? Do we have Jolant? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to check. Uh, this is Jolan Shah. Uh, 
uh, I we, we we were supposed to have Samir uh, Sharma. He is in Pune and uh, uh, from his own their own company. I would like to introduce to you Joelan Shah, Joelan and Rohit. Uh, they have been IIT graduates from Indore. I think four years back they came out with the with the technology of a sustainable uh, startup uh, and they they made some vehicles to collect wet waste and turn into uh, organic waste uh, so they have they are working with, they have a company called swaha and swaha company works with nagar nigam and they are very much involved in waste management so uh, it's it's very uh, good that joland is here but before we go to joland uh, i would like to have you asking any questions uh, uh, before i conclude my talk with few uh, few messages from my personal appeals uh, first of all i feel that uh cities uh, this city was uh, called devi ahalya's nagari it was a small village town type of village so it became a town city now it is a it is a uh, metro city level uh, with maybe 30 lakh of population and we have millions of people here and more the people more the problems more the challenges uh, all the four times cleanest city in door was it it was a huge tough game to get it get get this tag top ranking but it was possible because of the collaboration of government uh, local uh, representative political uh, representatives in the council all the other departments in the development agency collectorate health departments everybody worked together and ngos people like me have been doing this many social organization then they have for example a person to sing a song then they created an infrastructure so uh, and they have this vehicle then uh, jolant is going to talk more about that how does they how do they operate but the most important thing about indore uh, i want to tell you that uh, we had commissioner Uh, Manish Singh. Then we had Commissioner Ashish Singh, Nagar Nigam. Now uh, Manish Singh is collector. He is still supporting the uh, away this cleanliness uh, campaign, and Madam Pratibha Pal and her team. But the largest team of people who have worked in cleanliness is the. cleaning workers ladies of all age and men of all age who have been handling waste with their own hands cleaning rag pickers and so many people who have been handling hazardous waste uh, organic uh, waste or wet waste or dry waste or uh, means everything bio medical waste so we we did have many machineries at that time many technical facilities in the first time so media of indore media also stood up with indore so it became a matter of prestige and pride of indore and why should we not we are people of indore i tell people it is indore who have made me janakdidi my husband was british irish he came here and uh, 
we met with an accident he passed away when he died next day the newspaper said jija ji nahi jimmy jija ji nahi rahe means people called him jija ji a british man means people of indore uh, have this sense of belongingness hamara indore hamara sarafa hamari kachori hamara पोहा हमारे जलेबी इंदौर जैसा कहीं नहीं है मीन पीपल टॉक अबाउट दिस एंड आई टेल यू पीपल ऑफ इंदौर आर वेरी प्राउड सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ईच वन ऑफ अस टू थिंक अदर देन माय जॉब माय प्रोफेशन एज ए नर्स डॉक्टर वट स्टाफ वी आर आई हैव समथिंग टू ओ बैक टू इंदौर when i am in indore i am an indore so indore has to make indore number 1 to panch panch they call it panch panch is five so this is fifth time we will make a panch so we will get the fifth time a rank of swachhta ka panch uh, there are uh, many many interesting uh, stories but because of time i will not be able to get into that uh, i want to say that uh, two years back governor of punjab was in delhi college uh, over a dinner and he came to see and you know so many people from so many countries have come to see indore waste management system so many leaders political leaders bollywood stars cricket stars so many teams come to see and the whole india want to know how we do it so now your name will be written nurses of indore have also participated in this campaign they have also worked for indore hospital uh, were working earlier you are normally treating the people but now you have to treat indore you have to you have to make indore a healthy place healthy city and it's the people of indore it's the climate of indore it is the uh, atmosphere it's the weather it's the humans all the animal all the birds all the air the sky the soil the water everything you will be all very proud when you will say that we we got it and uh, we got that we we are getting number 1 now and i hope i pray that uh, all of you uh, i know very responsible people but still sometime we our life is our priority but now now i think at least today onwards you should also prime minister modi ji asked me to devote some extra time more time only for swachhta so now this is my not extra time now this is my full time job it's not a job it's not paid i don't accept anything from nagar nigam they offered me car facilities anything i said no i don't need anything i have everything so we have everything and you are lucky you are working in a great good hospital and i would pray that covid is slowly i think not slowly now it's quite uh, taking a good shape so you can still start using your cloth uh, masks and uh, maintaining the distance and using less plastic wherever you can because i know health issues you know better than that so hamara uh, indore hai hame isko swachhtam shahar banana hai aur hum bana ke rahenge so with this i conclude and any questions 